Okay, so I did hear about how uh, he felt that Apple was really honing him on promoting, like, you know, his people's music opposed to other people's music. And as an artist, that would piss me the fuck off too. Um, Cause I really feel like with the mass audience he has on YouTube, I would think that Apple Music would want to promote my shit the most, but... They don't want to promote it because of the content. I mean, yeah, that's true. But then, but at the same, the same time, time they promoting yeah. niggas like the baby. Yeah, so, you can't, you can't promote you're splitting like hairs. Like, it's the same subject matter. But I guess so. Um, no, that would piss me off. Uh, Apple need to fix that. That's fucked up. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Iceberg Slim, aka Coach and Don. And you back on JVTV. Right now we checking out this NBA young boy. I hate young boy. Um I haven't heard this song. I heard he, he name dropped everybody. I did hear that. Um which confused me for a few people because well, I didn't really just know they did anything, young boy. Um but I'm curious to see what Gucci did, so let's get into it. I think it was just it was on the song with her. Oh, recently? Yeah. Oh, I must not have heard it. Okay. This is audio. We a minute in. <laughs> it's number one. It's number one on YouTube too. Of course it is. It it would right yeah, now. I read so. some. I read some. It make like over sixteen million dollars every year on YouTube. No, I could. I definitely would have thought more on YouTube. Um, no, yeah, I could believe that. Um, shit. Okay. So I'm listening to this. Now granted, I don't really even just know about everything he's talking about, or whether he like mentioned it before. Mm -hmm. But he seems pretty confident in everything he's saying. I mean, cause wasn't he just, wasn't he with a, a Gucci song? Didn't Gucci just do a song with him this year? Yeah, oh yeah, he did have that. Um, what I will say, I do fuck with this beat. Um, oh, the beat comes. Song, yeah, right? especially a young boy song. Um, he talking his shit on this whole too. Let's see what else he got to say. <laughs> When was Young Boy's last album? It was this year, right? Or like in the last few months? Yeah, he was, uh... Yeah, he got one with Bourbon, and then he got... Co it was Colors. It was Colors. Colors. Yeah. Okay. Um, I feel like it's so much of his music that when you play... He did some niggas in that album, too. It just gets you hyped as fuck in the car. Like, no matter what you on the way to go do, you be going to get groceries. Mm -hmm. If you... If you play some shit like this, yo, your mood is gonna change in this direction. You about to get hot. Um, okay, yeah, colors. What you thought about colors? It was a good album, actually. How many songs was it? It was like eighteen. I thought sixteen. I could honestly, I could believe eighteen. He always put out a lot of music. He gives he gives his fans a lot to to appreciate. I ain't gonna lie. It was nineteen. Nineteen. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot of artists getting that much music. Oh, you know, talk about this ratchet. I'll bust it. 
street. Hey, put in the comment section who produced this song. Like, who made the beat for this? Because, um, I don't see it in the description. Put that down Okay, so I did hear about how um, he felt that Apple was really honing him on promoting, like, you know, his people's music opposed to other people's music. And as an artist, that would piss me the fuck off too. Um, Cause I really feel like with the mass audience he has on YouTube, I would think that Apple Music would want to promote my shit the most, but... They don't want to promote it because of the content. I mean, yeah, that's true, but then but at the same, same time, time they're promoting you niggas like the baby. Yeah, so you can't, you can't promote it. You splitting hairs. Like, it's the same subject matter. But I guess so. Um, no, that would piss me off. Uh, Apple need to fix that. That's fucked up. I'm assuming that's the rest of the song. Right? Just talking more shit. I'm pretty sure. Um. Okay. I think it's hard to like shape everything when I don't like know the context of everything you talk about. Best, we get the best out of rappers when situations like this go down. I I would agree and with that's that. Why, and that's why people will buy and click on and be so excited to just like hear what they got to say because not like I feel like I'm gonna make a prediction. Talk to me. What's about to happen? Lil Dirk already dropped. He already set the date for his album to drop. I'm, I'm much wanna bet his shit is gonna do fucking numbers. Dirk? Yes. Shit, I think even without this, he's gonna, gonna do numbers. His last, his last album did what too. Huh? They gonna wanna hear what the rest, the rest of what he got to say. Um, you know what I'm saying? To speak on like. Oh, yeah, cause he just talked about some shit in his song, yeah, right? I mean, of course, that's not all he gonna be talking about, but it's like. It's just so crazy because it's gonna do numbers for it's gonna do a different amount of numbers for that reason. Mm -hmm. Alone, you know what I'm saying? Okay. On top of him being a good artist, even when shit colors came out, I feel like that held their numbers because you know what I'm saying? No, yeah, I shit. It was it was that's some where, people that's saying how it, that's how it always is. It was some people saying Gunner's uh, album numbers was gonna be inflated just because he said. Uh, he was talking shit about Freddie Gibbs before the album had dropped on the album. But all he really said was like one... He, he didn't say anything. He said one thing. I, I think... I think he said fuck Freddie Gibbs. But then it had like nothing to do with this. I, it was really just that. But before the album, he was like, after this album, Freddie Gibbs gonna want to retire from rap. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't about... Um, but hey. No, yeah, that's, that shit always gonna happen. Um, but no, yeah, it sounds like there's a lot going on, and because of that fact, you're right, a bunch of people is about to, you know, shit clickbait it up because they want to hear what's like, going on. Look at the situation with Drake and Kanye, even though it's not not nearly as a, you know. No, yeah. It's not the same, but at the same time, it's kind of like that's why Drake. I feel like that's why Drake number. Like, what, what was the name of the album? The Pretty Lady in the Front. He just the last one. Pretty. The Lover Boy album. Yeah, Certified Lover Boy. 
Yeah, he was on that hill talking about it was the pretty boy versus the petty boy. <laughs> <laughs> he just said it. <laughs> he everybody, just said everybody was automatically assuming he was them and talking about Kanye. Um. Oh, with that, with that bar, or with the different bars. A few other bars too, but I was. I, was I could believe that. it. I mean, shit, we know they had their little spat here and there, but they. They did it that shit a minute ago, so I'm glad um, but they finally over that. What I'm trying to say is, this shit good. It's beautiful music sales, but in real life, bro, it's not. Um, bro, I listen to both these niggas, bro. Oh, <laughs> like, I feel like, I mean, I mean, it's, yeah. But you would hate you you would hate for some shit to somebody you know you lose somebody, and then it's like damn now nah, the guy it's just like oh shit. That would be a real unfortunate. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's been a lot of rappers that I've enjoyed over the last decade. A lot of, a lot of people go way too soon, way too early. Dolph and then early. It, Snoop went too early. A lot. Shit. X went too early. X went too early. It's it's a lot. Juice World. Yeah, I definitely want the flow of content to continue. So I really hope this doesn't elevate. Up to nothing but more music uh, on each side. But I fuck with the song. Um, I think it's hype as fuck. If I wanted to get hype, I'd play this song. It's gonna give me hype. Oh, yeah, he beefing with Apple Music. I would, yeah, I would expect. Okay, well, I'll be on YouTube anyway. So, put down in the comment section below what you think about the song. I hate Young Boy, all you Young Boy fans. Because um, I fuck with it. Like, comment, subscribe. Till then, peace. We just been. You know, I was just venting, man. You know.